for each other, weren't we, Maggie? We still are. Over 50 years together. them up. Do you, Joshua Turner, take Margaret Burnside for your lawfully wedded wife to love and protect in sickness and in health till death do you part? I do. God, I'm old. More beautiful than ever. Wrinkles. Took me a long time to give you those. Let me enjoy them. without the crowds, like the old days. I think I prefer it that way, even with the cold. Don't you, Joshua? If your friends could see you now. Good thing I'm not among friends. We've outlasted them all, Maggie. I hate a dry cork. I've taken little ladies over my knee for less. I don't think I didn't know who or when. <laughs> we had more stamina in those days. We had more everything in those days. Those days. Beginning to sound past tense. Beginning to feel past tense. You need a lover. I have a lover. He just doesn't know how to open a bottle of wine.
You have never been so quiet. It's a very unconventional sight. My first cigar. <laughs> My first bathing beauty. You handled it with a plum. <laughs> Hardly. Hardly. I found a silly little gull upon the beach one day. I asked her for directions, for I couldn't find my way. She told me with her feathers it was fine for me to stay. And if you find a little gull upon the beach, this hello i've never seen anyone out here this far neither have i you smell smoke i distinctly smell smoke i do hope there isn't a grass fire in the vicinity i don't smell it well no matter we'll know soon enough if it's a grass fire You must be a student. Where? I beg your pardon? Where do you study? Vassar College. Splendid school. I know. What year are you there? I'm a sophomore. Well, that makes you just a child. Relatively speaking, that is. What are you reading? Keats. Oh, splendid. Excellent. How do you find it? Quite satisfactory, thank you. Are you always so gregarious with strangers? Usually. Look here. Huh. Bloomers. These aren't yours by any chance, are they? Strange. Who could have forgotten her bloomers? You can just imagine the circumstances, eh? What's this? Looks like a corset. It is a corset. And those are my bloomers, and I'll thank you to confine your inventory to your own belongings. I like your spirit. Sketches. These are good. The next one is my best. What is your name? Joshua Turner, at your service. Joshua Turner, you are a rascal. I, I suppose you want some wine. I was waiting for you to ask. What's the occasion? Are you celebrating the summer solstice? The what? Well, today, it's the longest day of the summer. The solstice. I knew that. Well, I know you did. I did? I know. If I'd have known you were coming, I'd have had you bring glasses. If I'd known you were here, I would have brought champagne. I bet you can't afford champagne. To our little secret, may it ever remain a secret. And it did, Maggie, the first of many. You can't be there. We can't be here. You must be somewhere else instead. Uh, didn't you see me wave? We wave back. Well, didn't you see the sign? What sign? 
erosion control. You mean we're eroding so we can't be here? Oh, dear, don't tease him. He thinks you mean it. I do mean it. You look dazzling in that uniform. Why don't you join us on some wine? You're not allowed to drink alcohol here either. You know, a man my age has very few pleasures left. I'm sorry. You'll have to stop. I've been saying that for years. Uh, look, could we discuss this over in the boardwalk? It's bad for the dunes. Walking on them? Where's them out? Where's me out? I doubt it wears them out. Sir, I don't want to argue with you. Good. The geological facts are that every time someone walks on the dunes, their footprints leave a slightly greater depression in the sand. They gouge out these exposed paths, and before you know it, you got what we call a blowout. Heaven! How long have you been on this seashore? Three months. We've walked on this beach for over 50 years. We've seen erosion control plans come and go, and they always fail, and you know why? Because erosion is a natural state of Cape Cod. As it is with everything else here, have some wine. Sorry. Rules are rules. Yes, rules certainly are that, if nothing else. You gonna cooperate? Just don't shoot. We'll come peacefully. Thank you. Yeah, be careful where you step. You're all power hungry. Must be the artist in you. What do you mean? You always seem to clash with authority figures. Oh, uh, that's nothing. You inspired that long ago. Getting cold. A witness? This is my fiance, Maggie. Hello, Maggie. And uh, this is uh, Ephraim. Ephraim, this is Gus, our witness. Do you, Joshua Turner, take Margaret Burnside for your lawfully wedded wife to love and protect in sickness and in health till death do you part? I do. And you, Margaret, do you take Joshua Turner for your lawfully wedded husband to love and honor Cherish and obey in sickness and in health till death do you part. Margaret? Why do I have to obey him? He didn't say that, did he? Just say yes. No, I'm not going to just say yes. I won't say it unless you do. We have to say something else. We have a problem here. Uh, we're um, we're going to negotiate. We'll, uh, I we'll, think we'll, we should we'll, say the same thing. I don't do you... think I should say something different from you. <laughs> do you, Joshua and Margaret, take each other? Do you take each other? Say it. As is? We do. 
Then, by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. We played a lot of games. Maybe too many. Kept us young. They also made us old. You're tired. You always get reflective when you're tired. Thought has always tired me. Only second thought, Joshua. <laughs> Elbows off the table, Malcolm. Would you like some more potatoes, Mr. Turner? Mm, thanks. Yes. Well, what do you think of the Fords, Mr. Turner? It's way of the future, sir, I feel. Mm. Well, what I mean is that once they perfect the internal combustion engine so they don't frighten horses... You mean infernal combustion? Then I think we'll be seeing them in every home in the country. It won't happen. Never can't tell, sir. It won't happen. Mr. Turner, do I ever kiss Maggie on the lips? Malcolm Burnside, you mustn't ask such personal questions. Now you apologize to Mr. Turner. Uh, that won't be necessary, Malcolm. We'll give Mr. Turner the courtesy of answering the question. Darling. The answer to your question, Malcolm, is most definitely yes. You have a mighty fine tasting sister. <laughs> Father seems to be finished with his dinner, Mother. What do we have for dessert? Fresh apple pie. Malcolm, will you check the window to see if it's cool? I think I'll stay here and watch for a minute. Get the pie, Malcolm. Now. Delicious meal, Mrs. Burnside. It is a pity you can't stay for dessert, young man. I wouldn't miss fresh apple pie for the world, sir. You come into my house unannounced. Father, please. George. You endanger my daughter driving her around in one of those contraptions that Father. contradict me to my face. I wouldn't contradict you behind your back, sir. I think the pie's ready. Go check it again. Maggie, I... If you want my opinion, sir, you should leave this house while you are still capable of self-locomotion. I won't be leaving without my bride. I've known your daughter for two years, sir, and we were married last month. We thought it would be fun if no one knew besides us. Fun! 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 Don't fun! Now, you won't fun. use that knife, sir. So why don't you put it down and then we'll talk man to man. Don't you man to man me! Very well, then. Your daughter will be a widow. Uh, Why don't you put it down and we'll talk man to man. Come with me. 
We won't be interrupted. you think, doesn't it? Makes me faint. Toby, let Daddy finish. I want to play. Nearly finished, Toby. Then I'll chase you to the shore. I want you to chase me now. Leave Daddy alone or he'll punish you, won't you, Daddy? Lucy, you let us talk to Toby. That's not your responsibility. Please stop. Please. Please. Are you going to let me finish? Yes, yes I promise. Yes, yeah. yes I Oh. All right. There, there. No, I don't. Well, then I'll just have to throw you to the fish. Let them deal with you. Don't, Daddy. Don't throw them to the fishes. Well, I'm just going to throw you to those fish and let them eat you for lunch. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Then I'll tell a whale to gobble you up and I'll ride him home. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Don't tickle. Please. No. Let me finish, all right? Yeah. You mean it this time? my dears. <laughs> I want to show Toby. Where's Toby? Toby! 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 I'll check the water and check the dunes. Mother, I want you to sit right here and don't move, all right? Toby! <laughs>
Lucky to have a full moon. Very lucky. Your daughter's sound asleep with my sister. We're praying for you. Joshua, please. miss that boy. Good to have a son of only seven years. He certainly kept me honest with myself, about myself. Lucy? Uh, daughter's different. To Lucy, I can do no wrong. She's kept me dishonest about myself. Give me something to shoot for. Probably why she's had so much trouble with her husbands. She compares them to you. Kids are different now. No. We're different. Always have been. We're freaks, Maggie. This old. Still married to the same girl. Who does that today? You forget, Mr. Turner. You had time off for good behavior. A strike that last for behavior. Whenever you were so moved. Now, well, we'll see her together. That's what matters. What about the pain? It was never worth it. Never once. I don't think you mean it. I think it was worth it to you every time. Am I right? Why do you want to talk about old lovers? Because we are old lovers, and we've made it in spite of your growing pains. And yours. You did all right for yourself. Yes, thank you, I did. But I don't feel guilty about my old champions. I remember some of them happily and quite vividly. But you were always among the best. I'm touched. We are different, aren't we? We're just like everybody else, with one exception. We've always been willing to let each other grow. Hello, Brushman! Maggie! Where's Lucy? What's all this? Overnight success. Have a chocolate-covered almond. Still your favorite? What are you doing here at this time of day? In due time. Choose a hand. Here. What are these? You haven't gone and bought a car. Well, don't you stand there.
the green one. That's quite apparent. Joshua, will you tell me what is going on? I sold some paintings. Since when have you taken up cigars? From the day I met you. I just haven't been able to afford one of these since then. You recognize the brand? Mr. Palmateer gave me a cash down payment of the Beacon Hill Palmateer, don't you know? He bought my scarlet tanager. He bought my great blue heron. He bought my gulls. All of them. You know how many damn gulls I have. He bought them all. He asked me what I wanted for the tanager. When I realized who he was, I immediately inflated the price tenfold. He didn't even bat an eye. Then he asked about the heron. He wants me to pay more. I'm supposed to bring my lawyer to the... My lawyer? <laughs> who should we get? To discuss terms of a commission. What's wrong? I love you, Joshua. You know I love you dearly. Oh, Josh, this is very bad timing. You're pregnant. <gasps> There's a man in the other room. What does he want? It's terrible. Anyone I know? No? No, I wouldn't do that to you. Oh, and he must feel idiotic standing in our closet. Let's welcome him properly. I don't bother with that, my good man. We'll have the maid take care of it. As soon as we get a maid, I suppose. Uh, oh, my name's Joshua Turner. What's yours? Winston Smith. Handsome man. Who'd you borrow it from? Uh, don't tell me. Winston Smith. No, never mind. I understand you've already met Mrs. Turner. Won't you have some champagne? Not one of your vices, eh? Well, won't you at least join us in a toast? You see, this is a very happy day in our lives. Maggie's and mine, I mean, and... As long as you're here, I wouldn't think of excluding you from the celebration. Oh, thank you. Excellent French champagne, I want you to know. Hey, from France. Be careful not to take mine now. I keep my shoes under there, too. No, I wouldn't think of sending you out of here with only one shoe. You did have two on when you came in, didn't you? Handsome shoes. Sure you don't want a chocolate omelet? I guess we should talk. Rest. Where'd you find him? Not now. Later. That was very poor timing. There's no such thing as good timing for that kind of thing. That's how I feel every time. Are you trying to teach me a lesson? I was trying to learn one for myself. Our friend. Our increasingly expensive friend. <laughs> Let's go somewhere different next year. This is different. We've always come in June. 
Too cold for you? No, I love jacket weather. It's just that I'm ready for something else. Why do you suddenly want to go somewhere else next year? We could go all I heard was get me back to Cape Cod. And you do. <laughs> Say something? Marilla, Marilla. Why did you say that? Marilla, it's a bird. It feels good to say. Oh, your hands are freezing. Can't think of a better way to warm them up. Too much for you? Never. Your eyes are sparkling. Must be the light. Mm. What are you thinking? Nothing. You always were a lousy liar. I was thinking about eyes. time you ever lost that look in your eyes. I got it back. I almost lost you. For good. I'm sorry, sir. The gallery is closed. Well, then you should lock your door. Oh, deliveries really should be made at the rear entrance, uh, uh, but it'll be all right next time. I've got a Joshua Turner here. Really? You know his work? Know his work. Sir, do you know anything about American contemporary art? No, oh, ma'am. I just deliver the things. Really? Let me ask you something. What makes this good? Well, with Joshua Turner, it's purely uh, visceral. Visceral? Mm. If you knew the man... You'd understand the uh, physicality. Physicality. Magnetism. The dynamic, intuitive sense. What can I say? He has this effect on on me, at least. The uh, my pulse quickens. Pulse. My breathing becomes shallow. An aching desire wells up inside of me. I'm totally his. I want to give myself to him on the spot. This is what greatness does to me. You would have loved Rembrandt. <laughs> I worry about you. Have trouble getting away. I dream of the day when we don't have to worry about... Don't. What? Is something the matter? Charge? We gotta go upstairs. Come on. I can make it better. Charge? Something's wrong. Is it Margaret? Is it Lucy? It's me. And you don't want to say it? I love you. More than anything, Harper. 
Or anyone. Yes, yes. I always will. I know. I do. Please come with me. Come with me. I can't. You're still in love with Margaret? No, I'm still in love with you. But I love her. I, I know where I stand. I, I guess I've always known. You never know what you've given me. You taught me how to love myself again. You made me good for her again. Always love you. Please, just go now. I, just uh, please. This is important you, to me. You are important to me. What I don't understand is why you want to play with me this way. You still love Emily. She's dead now. Yes, but you still love her, don't you? She taught me something when I thought I was past the age for learning. You haven't answered my question. I love you more because of her. There you go with your guilt pangs. Are you still in love with Emily? There. Feel better? No. Why not? Because you just made me hurt you with something that doesn't matter to anyone. You've always been my best girl. Both of us too damn selfish to settle for second best. I've come to depend on that look in your eyes. God, I'm old. You feel old? Not at the moment. Then shh. You're more beautiful than ever. Wrinkles. Took me a long time to give you those. Let me enjoy them. Don't ever lose that look in your eyes. We're talking too much. Tell me something. What? Why did you come back to me? The same reason that you took me back again. Why do you think? We made a vow.
day here? Your wife, uh, she okay? She all right? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Sir. What do you want? Your wife. She doesn't appear to be all right. Thank you for your concern. Go take care of your doom and leave us alone. Please. I can help. She's leaving me now. We don't know you. We don't need you. Leave her. Please let her leave me in peace. It's been our beach for 50 years. Will you please leave us to our goodbyes?